Guys, it's been a couple of years, but Pinterest has done it again. Convinced me that I need to try out some more mug cakes. You guys sent me so many phenomenal sounding mug cake recipes. And I feel like today we need to actually put some of them to the test and find out which one is numero uno. Is there a right way to do a mug cake? Because we know <laughs> there is a wrong way. Many wrong ways, in fact. But what is the best mug cake recipe? I have a whole bunch here that I have found scouring through Pinterest and these ones look just like incredible. But we're gonna do our due diligence. We're gonna test these out science class style. And we're gonna just see, is there a recipe that is worth making at the end? Let's find out. And make sure if you haven't already to click the little subscribe button down below. So you come and hang out with us every single Saturday when we do new baking videos, typically they're baking. Sometimes we make some stuff. Sometimes there's gadgets. Sometimes they're just clean. But let's be honest, most of the time we're baking. But now let's dive in. You know what, you know what? Let's step back a bit. What is a mug cake? What is a mug cake? I feel like I really am in science class. You always start with the title. What is science? I mean, I feel like we all know what a mug cake is. It's a cake that is made in a mug, single serving for the most part. And then you take said cake batter in a mug and you microwave it for like a minute, and then voila, single serving of delicious cake. Maybe you're not allowed to use your oven. Maybe a microwave is just that much faster and you need to have cake right this minute. I got you, because we're making cake quick time today. And we're gonna find out which one is the best of all of them. Which mug cake reigns supreme? Let's find out. By the way, I will put all of the recipes down below for you guys if you want to make them yourself and you wanna check out the original post, all down below. So the first one we're gonna make is a coffee cake because coffee is morning and so coffee cake, morning cake. And this is a recipe from heatherlikesfood.com. I will link all of the recipes down below for you guys so you can go and check them out. But first we need a mug. Which mug are we going to choose? There are so many to pick from. What's a, like a good coffee, <laughs> coffee cake mug? Is there one? I'm gonna make it in, in this guy right here. No. Uh, we're gonna go with a yellow mug. Yellow, bright, sunny morning coffee cake. That sounds about right. And have all my ingredients. All ready to go. Like such a professional. So first things first. <laughs> Drew over there. You wanna start with a tablespoon of softened butter. Now she put hers in the microwave for like five seconds just to make sure it was again nice and soft but mine has been out for a while and it's very soft. And I am worried that even five seconds in my microwave will melt it. Like maybe I'll do like, like three seconds in the microwave. Like just in case, I don't wanna do it wrong. Is that good? Is it nice and melted now? No, it's good. Okay, butter is in, almost in. All of it in our And to this, we're gonna add two tablespoons of white sugar. And then we're going to mix this together till it's nice and Incorporated, I guess. This is kind of fun. Just like baking in the mug, mug baking, making. No, can't really combine. Can't really combine. Combine those words. All right, got a nice little butter sugar mixture here. And to this, we are going to add two tablespoons of unsweetened applesauce, which I happen to have on hand because babos. And you also want to add like a few drops of vanilla, like drops. Just like, boop. Oh, that was way too much. Oh no, uh, get it out, get it out. Wow, that was unnecessary vanilla. Why would you do that to me? Oh, wanna drops got waterfall. Honestly, what's the matter with you? Spilled all over my countertop. Oh, not impressed with you vanilla. Now to our apple butter sugar sludge. We're gonna add a quarter cup of all purpose flour. He did in here. As well as an eighth teaspoon of baking powder, an eighth of a teaspoon. Now I don't have an eighth <laughs> teaspoon measure, so I'm just eyeballing it. Like that. Not a lot, just a little. And then also a little bit of salt. Just a little, you know, nice little drizzle there. And then we are going to, woo, <laughs> mix to combine. Mix, 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 mix. All right, got my nice little cake here. And now we're gonna make a streusel on top. Yeah, because you know, it's a coffee cake. You want a little strudelness. We're gonna do two tablespoons of flour mixed with one tablespoon of brown sugar, a tablespoon of butter. It came out easier than I was expecting. Do you see me? I was like anticipating it to getting stuck in there. She was cooperative. She was cooperative. And then a wee quarter teaspoon 
of cinnamon. I feel like you're gonna also be difficult. Like the vanilla, the true colors of my baking ingredients just really <laughs> coming up this video. All right, get that in there. And then she says for this part, you want to kind of pinch it together with your fingers to create that nice like crumbly topping. And then you're just gonna like dump it on top. I'm gonna make sure my hands are all clean. And then we're going to pinch this all together. All right, you got a nice crumbly mixture here. We're just gonna dump that on top. I gotta say, this is still a lot <laughs> for a singular cake. Not like this is just like easy breezy, just like put it together and pop it in the microwave. Totally forgot I had a uh, scrunchie on my arm. Good for me. Well, you know what? Now it's an accessory, so. We're gonna pop this in the microwave for 50 seconds. I have learned, just need to say something, hold on, for the microwave. I have learned so much about uh, microwave wattage because I wanted to make sure that I was like following the recipe as much as I could and I know every microwave is different so I learned that my microwave is 950 watts some microwaves are more some microwaves are less so you have to adjust depending on what yours says and mine has like a little label on the inside so just dropping some knowledge so 50 seconds and go and while that's cooking I'm gonna <laughs> clean off my counter you doing cake huh you smell good it's hard to to tell if she's done uh, because the the stroisels on the top but that's what she looks like I mean it smells really good nice and cinnamony and buttery I guess let me like crack into her it's gonna get a small spoon I'm not getting a small spoon it's a mug cake go big or go home all right let's see is she done? <laughs> I can't tell. I can't tell if it's just moist or it's undercooked. I'm gonna say it's cooked. I, th I, think, I think it's cooked. Like looking in at the bottom, it does look like it's kind of fluffy and sponge-like throughout the rest of the cake. So um, I'm gonna go for it. Nice little bite right there. Nice cross section of the crumble on the top and all of the cake underneath and like, smells really good. It's going to burn my mouth. This is the, my goal of this video is not to burn the inside of my mouth. Very hot. Um, I like the crumble on top. It feels a little flowery though. The cake underneath is so hot, I want it to like cool down a little. So it's very moist. It has a nice cinnamon butter, like that like crumble on top is really, really nice. The flavor of the cake, I, I don't, honestly, I don't really taste anything. Like it's not even that it's, you know, sweet or, it, it like, it's just kind of fl flavorless. It kind of tastes like a, like a piece of bread with some crumble on top. <laughs> it tastes like some cinnamon sugar bread. Oh, classic of my youth. Yeah, the cake underneath, I think is just missing a little extra oomph in the flavor department. It is very moist, which I appreciate. Um, and I like the crumble on top. I would cut down on the flour though. I don't know, that's just my opinion. But now let's go on to those chocolate cakes I talked about. So the first one is by Bigger Boulder Baking. It is her best ever chocolate cake in a mug. And I'm gonna be comparing that to the most popular mug cake recipe that I found on YouTube, which is also a chocolate cake. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to kind of like battle them out. See which one's the best. And I mean, also it's chocolate cake. That's like a, like a quintessential mug cake, right? And I'm gonna make them at the same time so I can bake them one right after the other. And so they'll both be like warm so I can like compare them properly, you know? So first, of course, we need a mug. Actually, we need two mugs. And the bigger boulder baking one is supposed to be like a fairly <laughs> sizable mug cake for two or just one giant cake if you're feeling up to it. So I have my like bigger mug right here. It's kind of Christmassy. It's got a Christmas tree on it. It's fine. And then my beautiful plaid one because it's one of my favorites. And I also love chocolate cake. This is my rationale. So let's start with the recipe I found off of YouTube. And this had like, I don't know, something like, like 5 million views or something like that, like bananas. So we're gonna start by putting in the dry ingredients and mixing those all together first. So we have three tablespoons of all-purpose flour and two tablespoons of granulated sugar and cocoa powder. I really liked this video too. It was very like, ASMR, kind of watching the baking process, just like mixing, it was very chill. I really like that. We also have a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and a little pinch of salt. And we're gonna mix 
that all together. Now on top of this, we're gonna add three tablespoons of milk, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, and you wanna choose vegetable oil or canola oil or something that doesn't have any sort of like a strong flavor to it, so. No olive oil. And I've done that before, like baking with one of my friends, Angela. She came over and we decided to make chocolate, I think it was like a chocolate cake or chocolate muffins, I don't know. And we're like, oh, I don't have any vegetable oil. We'll just use olive oil. We tasted them and it was like, it was, it was so bad. Then we're gonna use a half teaspoon of vanilla and we're gonna mix that together. But don't worry, we're not done yet. We're not done because we also need to add in some chocolate chunks. We have 20 grams here of milk chocolate chunks. Throw those in, give it a little stir. And then we're gonna set this aside and make the bigger, bolder baking one. And go over here, cake number one. So now let's pull out the big mug for Gemma's cake. And again, just like in the last one, we're gonna start with the dry ingredients. So we have two and a half tablespoons of all-purpose flour, two and a half tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder, as well as, again, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Oh, and of course, cannot forget, a little pinch of salt necessary in all baking. Just makes everything taste so much better. Really brings out the chocolate flavor. So you have that mix. Really going through my spoon supply today. <laughs> now for the wet ingredients, we're going to start with two tablespoons of milk, one teaspoon of some sort of neutral oil. I have vegetable oil and then one small egg. And I think this is the first one that we've done so far that has egg in it, which is interesting. All right, in it goes. Now we're going to take it, whisk it up. <gasps> oh, I should use not, oh, I should use my little baby whisks. Look at this. So cute. I give this a little whisk. And Gemma's is one that she said it could be like a mug cake for two or just like a really large one. Um, but she specified that it needed to be in a large mug. So that's what we're doing. Make sure all of the flour is all integrated here. All right, and then on top of that, we're gonna add in two tablespoons of chocolate chips. And I like how both of them are using chunks of chocolate. So smart. Really up that chocolate flavor. So I'm gonna start with the one I found on YouTube and I'm gonna put that one in the microwave for one minute on high and high is 950 watts in my case. I'm gonna start with 50 seconds, just in case. They didn't specify in this one like what the temperature needed to be at. They just said one minute, left it up to me. So I'm just gonna put it on 50 seconds, just in case. And then for Gemma's, she has a 1200 watt microwave. I can't believe I'm talking about <laughs> microwave wattage, but she put hers in for 45 seconds. So I'm gonna put mine in for like 55 seconds because I have a lower wattage. So we're gonna switch out the recipes here. Oh, it's very hot. It's very hot. Use my sleeve here. I feel like that's not done yet, right? We can all agree. It's a little too shiny on top. And it's like moving. But I put it in a little bit longer. Another like 10 seconds. See how that goes. And then when these are all cooked up, I'm gonna have Chris come in and taste test with me. Let's just see which one he looks better. Okay, so this one looks much more done. So now I'm gonna put this one in and then we're gonna go grab Chris. All right, Christopher. You wanna taste test some mug cakes? You have made one good mug cake at least, so there's precedent for I this mean, being good. Yeah. It could be good, yeah. right? So we have two really popular chocolate cake mug cake recipes. They do differ a little bit too in the recipe, which is interesting. They smell different. Do they? Yeah, okay. smell them. Even I can get that. <laughs> Even I. Mm. Oh, they do smell different. Completely different. I gotta say, that one smells a lot more chocolatey to me. Is there vanilla in that one? Uh, yes. Yes, there is. You can smell that extract, right? I just smell chocolate. Here it goes. Make sure it's not lava hot, by the way. Now, remember, there's no icing on this. This is just right. the cake. Yeah. Moist, chocolatey. They're kind of sauce that's with it is interesting. I wonder if that's intentional or what, but it's good. That's the chocolate chips. There's chocolate chips in this. Oh, yeah, that I makes bet sense. I bet it goes to the bottom and melts. It's nice, yeah, I don't I don't mind this. It's mm -hmm. pretty dense. Mm -hmm. But it's not flavorless, which no, I find to be not. the issue with a lot of mud cakes. Yeah. This is good. It's a possible cake. Mm. Next one. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. It's much fudgier. Yeah, much fudgier, more brownie-like in consistency to me. This is more like the Oreo mug cake. That that, that one is much more um, cake-like. This yeah. is kind of more of a sludge. No one's mad about sludge though. 
Might be a little mad about sludge. Oh, well, I've got. That's not a cake. And I like microwaved it more. Should we try and microwave it more? Can't get worse. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 10 seconds at a time. All right, added 10 seconds. Is that better? A bit. I don't want to overcook it, you know? You got to go really slow with this stuff. This one also has chocolate chunks in it. So that might be chocolate chunks. It's very sludgy. It's very sludgy and not very flavorful. I don't know. The texture is off for me. I don't like the texture of it. No. I think it tastes chocolatey and it smells really chocolatey. But the texture, the consistency of it, it just doesn't do it for me. No, I agree. That's not successful. Mm-mm. But the Gemma one, that one's very good. Oh, is this... Like, oh, <laughs> surprise! This one I found online. It was a really, really popular one. And then this one is Gemma's. This one has egg in it, which is different. Chocolate chips. Oh yeah, going back to that. I mean, this one didn't knock my socks off at first, but in comparison, <laughs> this is fresh from the bakery. Oh yeah. Plus I feel this with an icing. I mean, you can't go wrong. Yeah, maybe even just like a scoop of ice cream on top. Mmm. I think that would be mm -hmm. good. Well. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You're right. I'm going back to it, it's not even, not even no. close. Mm -mm. Make the Gemma one. Yeah. That's very good. That is good. Thank you for your assistance. Oh, let you know if anything else is good. <laughs> Please. <laughs> now we're gonna go into a different kind of cake. I'm stretching here a bit, but work with me. We're gonna do a mug cake, but not just any mug cake. We're doing a mug pancake. And I mean, really, to me, this is like the perfect excuse to have pancakes in the morning. Like nobody wants to pull out all the ingredients and like make this big batch of pancakes and have to sit over the stove when you could just put together a little like quick little thing, pop it in the microwave, yes. So the first thing we need to do is we need to melt the butter. I'm gonna do that, dump it in here. Uh, step number one, all right, butter. Melted. And to the butter, we're gonna add a three quarter tablespoon of granulated sugar. I'm gonna mix that together with yet another spoon. Mix, 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 mix. Now we're gonna add two tablespoons of milk and then three tablespoons of flour and then just a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Boom. And then we are just going to whisk this all together. We want it to be incorporated, but we don't want to over mix before a bad pancake. So now we have pancake batter, and we're gonna go and microwave it on high for one minute. Be delicious. Gotta grab some toppings, butter, a little maple syrup. Are you done? I think you're done. Ta-da! Pancake. It smells kind of pancake-y. Let's put a little bit of butter on. Made a little, little pat of butter. Feeling fancy. And then drizzle it with some maple syrup. Yes. And now, we take this looks really good. A little bit of the butter, a little bit of the maple syrup. Oh, oh, it's so hot. <laughs> Almost burned myself. Okay, I think it's okay. It is quite pancakey. It does taste like the inside of a pancake, which is really cool. It's missing a little bit of that nice crispy edge, obviously, because it was done in the microwave. And I happen to love that crispy edge. So it's missing that a bit for me but it is quite pancake-like in consistency in taste, obviously with the maple syrup and the butter, it just makes it a thousand times better. This to me would be great in a pinch if you can't pull out all your stuff and make pancakes or whatever, and you just, you have this insatiable craving for pancakes. This would do it for me because you do get a lot of those elements there. But for me, this won't replace Sunday pancakes, you know? But still, I mean, that's really cool that you can make that in a microwave as well. Now let's go on to a cake that's not really a cake. It's a brownie, but it's still gonna be delicious. And this one is a gooey, delicious two minute brownie that I found on YouTube by Hello Lana. Again, we'll link it below. So we're gonna try it out because it looks delicious and she is adorable. Who is going to make brownies with me? Scout, you're in. I feel like if Scout was allowed to have brownies, she would in enjoy a good brownie. But alas, she's a dog and she can't. So for this one, we're gonna start with one egg. This is the only other recipe that uses egg. Like, it, well, there weren't a lot of them. And to the egg, we are adding four tablespoons of sugar. Four tablespoons of sugar. <laughs> That's a lot. Then two tablespoons of neutral oil. Now mix that all up, because you don't want to overwork once you add in the flour. And it's just a tablespoon of flour and two tablespoons of cocoa powder. And we're going to Combine that all together. And I feel like this one is among the most like 
straightforward in terms of recipes, which I appreciate. I want something that's straightforward if I'm just gonna throw it in the microwave. So we wanna get a nice fudgy consistency. All right. This looks good. So now this is gonna go in the microwave. She said at 700 watts for a minute 40. So I'm gonna use like a 70% power on mine. In you go, brownie. 70%, I'm gonna do a minute uh, 35. Every second counts in a microwave recipe. Well, I'm tidying up here, so many dishes. Are there any recipes, like any microwave recipes that you guys really like? Can you let me know in the comment section? I'm always curious which ones are your favorites and which ones which ones you've tried and didn't like. Like, let me know. I need to know. All right, this one's done. Looks good. Mmm, smells nice and chocolatey, nice and brownie-y. Ooh, it's, it's very hot. This thing with mug cakes, they'll get you. Looks a little bit on the fudgy side, but more of like a fudgy cakiness. Don't burn yourself, Rachel. Nope, still too hot. I'm just gonna sit here for the next thousand years and blow on my brownie. Ooh, it's still so hot. Kind of tastes burnt. I'm sad. Like, it tastes chocolatey, but it's a little hard. It's a little dry, a little sad. But so often, I mean, there are so many variables when it comes to these microwave recipes, like the size of the mug and the type of material the mug is made out of and the microwave wattage and the amount of time, like, so many different elements that go into this. So maybe I just had it off by like 10 seconds and that was enough, which makes me sad because it looks really good. So I think my favorite out of all of them is Gemma's. The, the Bigger Boulder Baking chocolate cake recipe was so delicious and nice and tender. And I think with a like a chocolate frosting or ice cream, like Chris said, like I think that would be so good. So out of everything that I tried today, that is my go-to, number one. That I would recommend you guys go and check out. I will link down below for you guys in case you're interested. So now I guess I need to find some more recipes from Bigger Boulder Baking and test them all out. Cause she has like a ton on her website of microwave recipes. So I guess I'm gonna have to try out some more because that chocolate cake was delicious. Uh, like I would make that again. Or the Oreo one. The Oreo one that I made last year, that one, oh, the TikTok one, you guys know what I'm talking about, like, oh, this is so good. This little spoon in the corner is like driving me crazy. Oh, my lights fell down. Oh, so embarrassing. Maybe use something other than tape to keep your lights up, Rachel. Make sure you check out these other videos on the screen in case you're interested in perusing through some more testing of recipes, a whole bunch of different cakes and cookies and like dinner meals. Like we have tested so much, I feel like, on this channel together as a team, as a fam. As a squad. So thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite recipe was or if you have any favorites and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.